Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Orbix Mumbai scenery. It is a payware scenery and right now I do not have it installed. It's a very stormy day in Mumbai apparently judging from the sound of it but we don't seem to have clouds. It's weird but yes we do not have the mod installed but I will install it afterwards after we take a look at what Mumbai looks like right now because I want to see what the effect is. So we're headed to the city center. You can see it there. It's got some buildings, but they will be stock buildings of a generic nature. The cost of the Orbix pack is just $7.70, so not very expensive, but it doesn't give too much. It says it gives 18 high detail buildings and about 100 mid detail buildings. Don't know what to think about that, but it's commensurate with some of their other packs, so nothing too surprising. The motivation for getting the Mumbai scenery in particular is because of the location of Mumbai. It's uh, it's sort of, at the longitudes it's at, there aren't a whole lot of other big cities. So it's probably the most striking city in its general vicinity if you're trying to go for an around the world flight, for instance, as I do frequently. So we have this bridge here. I uh, hope they do something with the bridge. With the scenery pack. We will see. There are no points of interest in the stock game at Mumbai. Uh, there aren't any in Calcutta either. Uh, there's a uh, certain lack in Asia these days. But... Uh, I'm sure they'll get around to it. They'll eventually be an India pack or a China pack, and but how long, I'm not entirely sure. So we seem to be at the city center, but it is rather lackluster in stock. We'll take a good look so that we can compare. There's a bunch of apartment buildings sort of all lined up to our right there. That's an interesting formation. And that's an interesting track up ahead, given the shape of it. I do have uh, the Bijan Habashi tree pack, so my trees may look different from your trees. Keep that in mind. We are on the summer textures for that. There's clearly a station there. Terminal. Don't know if that will be enhanced or not. We'll see. But as we take a look around, there's absolutely nothing that catches the... In well, actually this building to our left seems a little bit catchy. It's very shiny. Interesting shape too. So maybe... That, that's a little bit unique, but so just as I was about to say, nothing that really captures the interest that popped up. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure there's anything. And we'll have to see how far out the additions go, whether it's all close to the city center. I don't think so. Taking a look at the description, and I, I said 18, I meant 16 special buildings on high detail and it includes uh, various styles including the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel, Gateway of India, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus so that must be the terminal there or maybe Omkar 1973 I don't know Imperial Towers well hopefully some of the tall buildings there are included Impressive cable stayed spans of the Bandra Worli Sea Link, and I think that was the bridge over to the left there. Uh, places to explore are the Global Vipassana Pagoda, construction site of the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link Bridge, uh, Nehru Port Terminals, offshore lighthouses, and old fortifications. So, all right. Without further ado, I'm going to install the scenery, which is a hefty 5 gigabytes installed. So hopefully there is quite a lot going on there. And we will see what it all looks like. 
Okay, so here we are taking off from VABB and we will see in the midst of the sound of thunder what the city looks like. Well, we can see from a distance that the city certainly does look different. Well, over here I see something that I did not see before. We've got some buildings right here outside of the city center. I expect that these are middle detail. <laughs> Again, the whole scenery is 5 gigabytes though, so middle detail can be quite detailed as it is. Got solar panels on top of that building. I'm not too sure what to think of the sides of it. But it's definitely not stock. The stock buildings in this area somewhat detract from the effect, but that's a heck of a building right there with that sphere in the middle. That's interesting. Well, on to the bridge. So this is currently to look from the cockpit. I think, oh, uh, that's the Taj right there. And we can see the bridge is revamped. The lines, the anti-aliasing is not sufficient for these lines. But, okay. Or, I think it's the Taj. I mean, it says Taj up there in some directions. Okay, and this bridge is certainly better than it was before. That's an interesting thing, the way it is. I guess it's supposed to be extended further forward. But for now, it's just diverted to the shore there. There's a radio mast here. And yep, the city center. RNA, huh? I can't really read what that building is. This one, Palais Royal. Some cranes on top. Ah, uh, there seems to be a new building over here, or two. I think the track looks a little... no, it's probably about the same. thought it looked a little bit crisper, but I think it's the angle I'm coming in at. So, we've got these. And then we have, uh... This station... I guess it's improved. Yeah, I mean, obviously in stock it wouldn't look like that. They could have done something with the tracks leading to it a little bit. So we've got some new buildings here. Overall, I assume that the high detail ones are the tall ones, because uh, otherwise I can't really tell. This this building right here is really special and it's got a helicopter pad on top so that's that is a uh, that is a building <laughs> that that building justifies the fact that building sounds like it's transitive <laughs> So we've got this tower Mumbai does have its share of fancy architecture, apparently. You wouldn't have thought of that looking at the stock scenery, that's for sure. So, down the beach. I see one of those big cranes 
over on the other coast there. We'll hit that on the way back up. That's a lot of ships. So a lot of ships. I guess they must have added the ships there. I didn't notice them before. Well, we have we have a stadium here. I wish the field adjacent to it was a little bit better. But yeah, we have the stadium. This one right here could do with some work. Some of these buildings are new. These are crisp looking, but fairly plain. I mean, white and... But yeah, they're obviously new as well. And we're headed back north. This one was featured in their material, their previews. Very nice. And we got a serious ship here. We got some serious ship. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> again, uh, we've got that nice ship sitting in dock there, and then we've got the photo scenery showing other ships, but nothing doing on those, so. Hmm. Might be marginally beneficial to just get rid of them then. Uh, just uh, sort of erase them somehow. I don't know. Exclude them, because it's just a little bit jarring that way. They've got all the other ships over here. That's a, these are nice ships too. Yep, interesting. There's that crane I saw from the opposite side. One of those heavy duty ones. It's possible that there's freeware scenery from Mumbai as well. I'll have to take a look at that. I didn't look for it. At roughly seven dollars this didn't seem to be horrible for an orbic scenery there are certainly more expensive ones so far I just have the London one and this one and then they add a free Taipei one only a district though not not like a huge amount so there's another one of the custom buildings. So I'm just investigating some of these buildings that we see up the highway here. To see if they have been redone or whether they are untouched by the orbic scenery. I don't know if I can tell whether these are just stock buildings or orbix buildings. Uh, I mean they're in interesting shape so maybe Orbix buildings not really you know super special though yeah I think this is all stockish stuff well this is sort of an interesting building over here that might be one added by the Orbix scenery but uh, not conclusive. This, this is very far out now. We're over here near SC, whatever that is. So I think, as far as the stuff that's obvious, uh, that's that's all I've been able to spot. There may be some sites that I didn't actually catch, obviously, but I think I got the most prominent stuff. We can see the city center in the distance there. And overall, well, it is as you see it. Since I plan to be flying around Mumbai many times in the near future, and I also expect that it's going to be a long time before uh, the developers are going to do anything with the city, uh, I, I will say that it was worth it. And it is worth it. But overall, again, as with all these sceneries, it depends on whether you intend to be around that city a whole lot. 
the Orbex London scenery for a little while gave me trouble because once they turned London into a photogrammetry city, there was a lot of lag. But now with this newest update, that's more or less fixed and the Orbex scenery and the London photogrammetry works together fairly well. But before I had to turn off the London photogrammetry. So it also depends on the game's updates and the impacts of that. And I'll continue flying a little bit, checking things out, but I think we've seen the most interesting sights. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.